Good morning. It's great to see everyone. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to Cupertino. The iTunes Festival, this is the seventh year in a row, 30 unforgettable nights, global superstars. All of the concerts are held here in the historic Roundhouse in London. We don't charge anything to get in. 20 million people apply for tickets. <laughs> it's like an opening weekend for products. So we're live streaming the concerts. We've had this small 1,100 square foot store. Our teams have served 5 million customers there in just nine years. Recently been serving 2,000 per day. This weekend, we replaced it with this store. Over eight times the size of the other store that you just saw. That's our new Stanford store. And next month, we will ship the 700 million iOS device. Good morning. iOS 7, lock screen, edge to edge design, swipe into the home screen, gorgeous animations, a parallax effect. Swipe up, you bring up control center with these handy controls, notification center, pull down from the top, including the lock screen, find out where you next need to go. It can recommend where you need to go and how long it will take you to get there with current traffic conditions. From any screen, pull down and search for whatever it is you're looking for. The uh, weather app, edge to edge design, the subtle animations, multitasking. You can just tap and bring an app forward. Safari in iOS 7 is fantastic. The new tab view, overview of all your tabs. Pick a tab, slides forward. Siri, you can say things like, what's Lady Gaga saying? Searching on Twitter. Okay, here are some tweets. Great new high quality female voice. And a new high quality male voice as okay, well. Okay, here are some tweets. Information from Wikipedia. Inline web search, great photo search as well. The camera is better than ever. Easily swipe between your different cameras, like your video camera, square aspect ratio camera, live photo effects, automatically grouped by moments based on the location and time when they were taken. It's an entire vacation automatically pulled together into a single collection. Year view. When you find a great photo, you're gonna to wanna to share it. And tap in the lower left and select additional photos to share. Share across messages, iMail, iCloud photo sharing, AirDrop. You can just tap, tap on each person you wanna share with, you're securely sharing. iTunes Radio, best way to experience new music. Tapping across the top on one of the featured stations. Create your own stations. Just tap on the new station button and get a thorough dose of awesome right on your featured stations <laughs> list. Over 200 features. Downloading iOS 7 is like getting an all new device. iOS 7 will be available starting on September 18. It's available for iPhone 4 and later, the iPad 2 and later, the iPad mini, and the fifth generation iPod Touch. iWork now consists of the best selling mobile productivity apps on any platform. Keynote, Pages, and Numbers, iPhoto, iMovie. Today, we're announcing that we're making all five free. They're free with any new iOS device. Now I'd like to talk about iPhone. A couple of you may have been expecting this. This year, we're going to replace the iPhone 5 with not one, but two new designs. Well, good morning, everyone. And the first one is called iPhone 5C, an incredible new color design. The entire back and sides are made from a single part. Custom cases specifically for the iPhone 5C. Cool circular cutout patterns. It's made of a hard-coated polycarbonate material. Steel reinforced structure, part of the antenna system. It's a beautiful four-inch retina display, A6 chip. It has the world's most popular camera, the eight megapixel EyeSight camera. On the front side, it's got a brand new FaceTime HD camera that's even better in low light scenarios. Supports more network bands than any phone we've made yet. It supports more LTE bands than any other smartphone in the world. So this is iPhone 5C, five colors at a price of just $99. Yes, an Android free. The second is called iPhone 5S. It's the most forward thinking phone anyone has ever made. This is iPhone 5S, it comes in three metal finishes, silver, gold, and a new space gray. A7 is 64-bit. First ever in a phone of any kind. It has over a billion transistors in it. The A7 is up to twice as fast, and it's up to twice as fast at graphics tasks as well. From the first iPhone to now the new iPhone 5S, it's increased 40 times. It's increased 56 times since the original iPhone. 
we have a completely new part in the iPhone. We call it M7. It is a motion coprocessor. It takes advantage of all these great sensors and it continually measures the data coming from them without even having to wake up the A7 chip. Battery life that's equal or greater than the iPhone 5 had. We have a new five element Apple designed lens that has a larger f2.2 aperture. We have a new sensor as well that has a 15% larger active area, bigger pixels that make a better picture. Before you even take a picture, it's automatically setting white balance. It's automatically setting the exposure level. It's creating a dynamic local tone map around the image. It's doing autofocus matrix metering with 15 focus zones. And then when you do take a picture, unbeknownst to you, it actually takes multiple photos. It instantly analyzes them in real time for which is the sharpest, and that's what you see on your screen. It has a new flash as well, the True Tone Flash. It actually has two LEDs and can present a color flash of over a thousand color variations. And this is an unretouched photo right off the iPhone 5S in the same scene. You see much more natural skin tones, auto image stabilization, a fun new burst mode, 10 frames a second, slow-mo. It's ca capturing HD video at 720p at 120 frames a second. So that is the new iSight camera, a brand new technology, and it's called Touch ID. It reads your fingerprint at an incredibly detailed level. Touch ID sensor. It's just thicker than a human hair. 500 pixels per inch, right into the home button that we use. The home button still has a tactile switch, just like before, so it works the way you're used to. But it also now includes the Touch ID sensor. You can simply touch the home button to unlock your phone. The team's also figured out how to use it to make iTunes purchases. This is our most forward-thinking phone yet at just $199. The team has made a set of cases that fit the character of this phone so well. They're leather cases. So now you've seen our two new phone lines, iPhone 5C and iPhone 5S. The 5C starts at just $99, the 5S at $199. September 20th, you'll start to be able to purchase both the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S in the United States, Australia, Canada, China, France, Germany, Japan, Singapore and the United Kingdom. We've got the iPhone 5C and the iPhone 5S across the hall so you can get your hands right on it if you're in the media. I'd like to thank everybody for coming and don't forget the store in Palo Alto. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>